so here you go to the introduction if you go to introduction that is uh, the clothes which we wear clothes and uh, like robes robes if you take uh, you can take robes which we use for mountaineering the robes which we use for mountaineering parachutes parachutes which we use for uh, that is sky uh, scrapping sky scrapping then uh, that is the shirts which we wear that is like you can take uh, toothbrushes toothbrushes we take then plastics toys toys etc all these examples all these examples what we have highlighted they are made up of there is fibers these are made up of fibers so what do you mean by what do you exactly mean by fibers so for example if uh, before going to the fibers the clothes the clothes which we wear the clothes which we are wearing uh, they are made up of uh, the different uh, fibers present in it these fibers are uh, filled with some chemicals and uh, fibers with chemicals will give you uh, certain certain amount of uh, synthetic uh, i mean material then ropes if you take rope also if you take uh, actually the ropes which we use in mountaineering actually we take the wood pulp we take wood pulp and for this wood pulp we add a chemical substance we add a chemical substance by adding a chemical substance for wood pulp and we get a fiber this fiber uh, is uh, water resistant water resistant water resistant anti deforming anti deformative anti deformative anti rust anti rust anti rust it is stiff and it has more tensile strength you might be seeing the adventurous uh, mountaineering and the skydiving if you take even during skydiving and uh, you know parachuting also the exploration uh, of the skydiving which we use in uh, i mean the open spaces toothbrushes plastics toys etc you can take as many number of examples as possible but uh, in all these cases we have a common substance which we call it as fibers so frankly speaking these fibers are, are actually uh, what are the sources of fibers if you go for sources we have natural fibers we have natural fibers and we have synthetic fibers synthetic fibers synthetic fibers are actually man made synthetic fibers are man made man made fibers and uh, natural fibers are obtained these are obtained from plants and animals obtained from plants and animals what examples you can take for natural fibers you can take number of examples for natural fibers that is cotton silk cotton silk then you can take wool cotton silk and wool then you can take cellulose 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 contains glucose units glucose units biologically if you take natural fibers you can even take that is nucleoproteins nucleoproteins hemoglobin hemoglobin which is present in the blood also it is a natural fiber it comes under natural fiber when you go for synthetic fibers these are man made so in the man made uh, synthetic fibers the best source of uh, the uh, synthetic fibers are petrochemicals you can obtain it from petrochemicals 
Synthetic fibers can be obtained from petrochemicals, coal, coal that is wood pulp, etc. All these are the synthetic fibers. That means whether it is petrochemicals or coal or wood pulp, they are added with suitable chemical uh, substance in it. And once the chemical substance is added to the petrochemicals or coal or wood or pulp, wood pulp, then immediately it results in the formation of new substance called synthetic fibers. And these synthetic fibers have certain advantages as well as certain disadvantages. So when you go for synthetic fibers, once the synthetic fiber is obtained, so what are the best examples of obtained synthetic fibers? Obtained synthetic fibers from wood pulp or from coal. Synthetic fibers, you can take as many number of examples as possible. You can take nylon, terulene, 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 you can take nylon, terulene, terulene is also called dacron, dacron you can take, then uh, acrylic plastics, acrylic plastics plastic also it is a part of uh, synthetic uh, fiber synthetic fibers uh, then thermo setting thermo setting thermo setting fibers th thermo setting plastics thermo setting and thermo heating thermo heating plastics so there are many examples where we can come across one by one. So all this comes under a part of introduction for the synthetic fibers and the plastics. So look at this uh, tablet form here what I am trying to give that is articles. We are trying to take the different articles which, lead, which leads to the fiber formation. Uh, that is if you take articles here cotton, silk, rayon, nylon and wood. If you go for cotton it is a natural fiber. Cotton is a natural fiber, silk also it is a natural fiber, natural fiber, rayon is artificial fiber, artificial fiber and uh, nylon also it is artificial, artificial and uh, wood is, wood is again a natural fiber. So from this table what information we can gather? The information what we can gather from this table is actually if you take a synthetic fiber let me put it in this way, a synthetic fiber, a synthetic fiber is also nothing but a plastic, plastic polymer. So when you say polymer, when you say polymer, a polymer is nothing but polymer. When you say polymer, you split this word into two parts that is poly, poly means that is many, many and mer means that is parts so that means here what is happening each that means a polymer a polymer is made of basic unit basic unit called monomer a polymer is called a basic unit called monomer and monomer if you take monomers add on each other each other to form a macro molecule macro joint molecule joint three dimensional molecule 3d 3d means three dimensional molecule resulting in the formation of polymer and the process we call it as and the process is called polymerization and the process we call it as polymerization you can take number of examples for uh, polymers polymer plastics if we take polythene polythene is a plastic polymer you can take polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl chloride is also a polymer PVC we call it as and also we can take that is A, this is B and you can take C, polyvinyl cyanide, 
Sometimes we can also call this as acreolin. Acreolin, we call it as. So all this comes under the polymers. So apart from that, if you take the rayon, what is this rayon? This rayon is called artificial silk. This rayon, actually we call it as artificial silk. So how do you get rayon? If you go for rayon, I can just call it as rayon if you take, if you call, if you're taking the rayon, it is artificial silk. This artificial silk uh, is woven into, woven into individual fibers. It's woven into individual fibers. So for example, wood pulp, wood pulp, when given a chemical treatment, when added with a chemical substance, when added with a chemical substance, it gives rayon 